this is Kevin with Pinehurst Websites and I'm just going to go quickly uh, through how to list items on JET to queue them up and then to send them over to JET using Ecom Dash. So this is after you've already done the setup on JET. Um, so right now what we want to do is we want to go into the listings and we're going to go into listing management and it will show us the items that we already have on JET. Uh, so if it's uh, over here it's not on JET yet. So this doesn't have an image, so I'm not going to send that over right now. That would be an obvious one that I, I'm not ready to send over. So all I need to do is put in an image and uh, have the rest of the information that I need on JET. So the information that you need on JET, you can actually just upload it if you don't have it in. I've uh, got information listed uh, that I was able to pull from the items I have on Amazon and Shopify already, uh, including the images and it had most of the information I needed to list it on JET so there are some instances where I listed it on JET that way so what you want to do these are already listed on on these channels under active listings right here under not listed the next column you're gonna see that these are not listed on these channels so like I said since these don't have images I'm not gonna do those but let's go ahead and show uh, more listings so we can show 250 listings on a page so what we'll do is just wait for that to update the listings there so this is updated now we have 250 uh, listings on this page so let's go look at some items that we might want to list on jet this is on Amazon Shopify and Amazon Canada it's got an image in there so let's go ahead and list it on jet all we need to do is well this is actually already queued up to list on JET so if it's queued up and it hasn't gone over it probably has an error so we can take a quick look and see if we might see what that error is so it has an ASIN number one of the things that it does need is it has to have a weight so I'm going to put 0.3 pounds and save it and that should once I have saved the weight in there that's the only thing that was missing sometimes it it will normally will show an error why it didn't go over but if it doesn't it's probably needs a wait so I'm just going to create that listing and now that listing has gone over to jet so if I go back to my listing management there's an easier way I can look at the products that aren't listed on jet I can just click on unlisted and then I can choose the channel which is jet this is going to bring up all the items that are not currently listed on JET so if I take a look at these items if I want to send everything on the page over to JET except the ones that I know just aren't going to go because they don't have images I've got uh, quite a few I can do up to a hundred so if I want to do more than if I want to do a hundred items I have to go and show a hundred items and then I can just hit that checkbox to send a hundred items over so I'll go ahead and update this page to a hundred items showing and now I've checked everything except I'm going to uncheck these ones that don't have images I don't have to uncheck these I can just go through and send them they'll just get an error and I can go correct that error and then they'll list on jet so I'm not going to worry about uh, the ones that don't all have images so if I'm on jet.com right now I had 57 I just listed that extra item I'm going to reload this page and there's the one item that I just fixed the weight on so if I want to list these I'm just going to queue these listings and this will be just under a hundred products that I'm going to queue over to JET and this will take a minute I plus press the button but it just takes a minute to refresh within uh, Ecom Dash okay so now these are all queued up to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all the listings that are queued and this will show me ones that I have previously gotten errors on as well okay so I have my items that are queued here 
And if I want to just send them over, all I need to do is hit um, create listing. Okay, now these have been submitted to Jet. Now I can go over to Jet. Here's ones that I've submitted previously, but they had errors. And I can see what this one doesn't have a value for the shipping weight. So if I just want to fix something like that, I can just click on it and just add a shipping weight in there. It's 0.3 pounds. Now I can also go through and do this in a spreadsheet. I can upload this information on shipping weight in bulk. And since these products are all essentially uh, very close to the same weight, I can just really easily just copy and paste that in a spreadsheet and import them. So now that I've saved it, all I have to do is hit the create listing and the one that has the error will go over. And that's listed on Jet as well. So now we went from 58 products listed on Jet and when we reload it we're going to see that we have 74. It's putting them in, in batches but we'll probably see that number go up again. And I can go through and check on any that had errors and will tell me and I have shipping weight on some of these. That's primarily you have to make sure that all your items have shipping weights in them. Uh, there may be a few other things that have uh, the brand which is required but those can all be corrected in a spreadsheet and then just imported. These are what are required. You need to have um, either an ASIN or a, a UPC to list on JET. Some sort of standard product code. It could be a UPC or EAN number. Um, and uh, you need to have a title and you need to have the category that you're listing in and then you need to have the name of the brand and you need to have a price and of course uh, the SKU number so um, that's all there is to listing it over on JET uh, you fix your errors they're pretty simple to do you can either go in directly and you can just correct it or you can do it through a spreadsheet so if this one right here had an error for weight, you just go in, enter that, or if, if it needed an ASIN, you go in, look up the ASIN on the item, and put it in. Uh, there's ways to do that in bulk as well, and that's pretty simple to do uh, within Ecom Dash. So if you have any other questions or if you want to try out Ecom Dash, uh, click on the link in the description of this video, and there's a free trial on Ecom Dash and you can use it to sync out to eBay, Amazon, Newegg, Rakuten. Uh, it will sync the inventory with those channels. You can actually list directly on channels like Jet from here. Uh, you can sync with your Amazon inventory. You can bring your Amazon inventory in.